Hey everybody, it's Reckless. So, I am going to bring you the breakdown of the full reveal of the Prison of Elders. Any and all video clips are actually taken from the reveal itself. So, all credit goes to Bungie. So, without further ado, I bring to you the breakdown of the Prison of Elders. So, in order to access the Prison of Elders, just like the Trials of Osiris, you need to complete the House of Wolves story. Bungie has confirmed that the level cap will be 34 once the House of Wolves comes out. Once the Prison of Elders is unlocked, this is what the Reef will look like. I would like to assume that the crown in the middle is actually the Queen's Bay. And obviously you know that's where you get all your missions. And everything to the right, as you can see, is everything of the Prison of Elders. So the Prison of Elders is a base activity with a level 28 arena, which is a three-man activity with matchmaking that you can constantly replay over and over again. However, there are also three non-matchmade challenge modes for the Prison of Elders. These three modes have different levels. Those levels are 32, 34, and 35. Each challenge mode has a different target, and there are six altogether, but only five rotate on the weekly reset. The level 35 is the only one that does not rotate, and you will be able to do all of them during the week. The rewards you will get will differ based on the level you choose to do, so higher levels will have bigger rewards. Level 32 will have armor cores, while level 34 will have weapon cores, but both level 34 and 35 do have etheric light as a reward. The Prison of Elders and its entirety will have different modifiers and buffs, and I will show you an example right about now. These modifiers and buffs will change the way the Prison of Elders actually works throughout each round that you go through. And you will not be doing the same type of modifier or buff within each round. But it may repeat on other rounds. For example, let's say if you go round one with a specific modifier, you might get that specific modifier in round four or round five. Um, but I highly doubt that Bungie would actually do that since there's so many different modifiers that will probably just be uh, RNG. So when you enter the Prison of Elders, you will get that modifier first, and then after you get the modifier, one of the doors will actually open, and when that door opens, you will see a servitor. Varix, of whom you know, is the Prison Warden, and he will be talking to you through this servitor. Whichever door that servitor actually comes through is the door that you will actually be going through once you begin the Prison of Elders for your first round. Once you begin your first round, you will be confronted by the enemies of the Reef, which could be either Hive, Vex, Fallen, or the Cabal. Enemies will come in waves. There are three waves in one round, as you can see in the upper left corner here. Even though we didn't see a boss fight, I want to assume that at the end of the fifth round, you will fight a boss. There is no respawns in the Prison of Elders, and the only way you can come back alive is when one of your teammates resurrect you, but you will be on a 30 second timer after you die. Now I'm sure if you have a Sunsinger, you will be able to self res. However, if everyone in the fire team dies, then the round is over, and you will have to restart that round over. But, your round modifier will remain the same if you die, and will change if you actually complete the round. Also, there is no, and I repeat, no checkpoints, which means when you start the Prison of Elders, you either complete it or you don't. For example, you cannot end on round four and take a break for a couple of days and then come back later. So in the reveal, one of the objectives inside the Prison of Elders 
was called Defusing Splitter Mines, where Splinter Mines will appear and the more teammates actually defuse in the mines makes the round go faster. Going back to what we've seen in the actual reveal, on the second wave, you will get a gift from Varix. It will say Varix presents a gift in the lower left corner above your super meter. The gift drop is random, but the gifts will help you get through the round. Sometimes it's ammo drops or even a special weapon. One of the special weapons that drops is called Scorch Cannon. Here is a blown up picture of what it actually looks like. It's kind of like a rocket launcher and it also has a second effect if you hold the trigger down to cook it. But the Scorch Cannon does not have infinite ammo, so be careful how you use it. I want to say during each round, if the round is not complete within the given time period, you will get what is called the Warden's Punishment, which will drain your super and then kill you and your teammates. However, when doing the Prison of Elders, you must be very aware of your surroundings because there are random mines scattered along the floor along with web mines that if caught inside will slow you down a lot giving the enemy more time to kill you. And who knows what else the Prison of Elders will hold. One more important note is that there is no health regen while doing the Prison of Elders. And I want to say that goes for all four different um, levels that you actually do. So wearing gear or having abilities that regen your health will probably be best when you're doing the Prison of Elders. So that is the entire breakdown for the Prison of Elders reveal. Let me know what you guys think about uh, the video in the comments below. This is Reckless, and I will see you guys later.